Hi guys, in this video we'll learn how to model a cartoony style house in Blender 2.8. So let's get started. First things first, I want to start off with the ground. So I just created a circle by hitting Shift A, Add Circle. And then I filled the top and the bottom faces. I then extruded the top face in a little bit and the bottom as well. And then I added a loop cut in the middle as well. Just to uh, sharpen things out a bit. Then I softened it by hitting W, Smooth Shading. Then with the cube, I went into edit mode, then I went G, Z, control and moved one up. I then measured around about the height of a house, which is about 3.2-ish meters. Doesn't have to be exact since we're making a cartoony style house, so it doesn't have to look exactly that realistic either. So we start off by blocking out the basic shape of the house. I turned on cavity in the shading viewport, just so that we can see the uh, bends a little bit better. Uh, I then added a loop cut right in the middle and then scaled it in a bit. And at the top, I scaled it up a bit, and also wider. I added a loop cut right in the middle, and then with the middle edge on top, I just moved it up to create uh, the seating. So we're having a wonky sort of shape that's not realistic, which is okay for a cartoony style house. We can pretty much do anything with it and get away with it. So I selected the top two faces, uh, duplicated by hitting Shift D, and then uh, pivoted the 3D cursor along the top edge and then selected the two faces and scaled up. I then extruded upwards, and then I went to each vertice and just changed the shape a bit so that they don't look so uniform. Cartoons don't look fun if everything's so uniform. So then I duplicated that ceiling again and then scaled it down on the y-axis and then moved it down uh, so that I can create another sort of uh, uh, ceiling for the house. Then I added a cube and then I uh, added a loop cut in the middle and sort of matched it with the top ceiling. Again, I sort of changed the shape in random areas just to make the house look a bit wonky and, and very cartoony-like. I went in the opposite direction of the ceiling, so the main ceiling. For the door, it was simply a cube uh, with the front face uh, extruded and scaled in. That's pretty much it. And then I just pretty much stuck it on top of uh, the house. I then went ahead and also uh, adjusted the look of the door frame. I, I did not want anything of this house to look uniform. I wanted it to look as quirky and as cartoony as possible. So I duplicated that uh, door frame and then I reused it to create the windows. So just to make the door look like a door, I went ahead and added a simple door handle. It was just a UV sphere and a cylinder. That's about it. As long as it looked like a door, that was good enough for me. I also went into edit mode and stuffed up the shape of the sphere a bit. Again, just to make everything look ununiform. Non-uniform, if that's the word. So with the windows, I'm just duplicating the windows everywhere and just changing the shape. And then duplicated the four windows and just copied it to the back. Remember, there's no real rules over here. You can make up, uh, make it up as you go. Just, the, I guess the only real rule is don't try to make everything look so uniform. Or you can do the exact opposite. You can make everything look really, really uniform. That can also have a very cartoony effect as well. So for the side uh, of the house, I wanted to create these long windows. So I just went ahead and added that. Finally, I wanted to add a pathway leading up to the house. I started off with adding a pathway that leads from the door, then it is a cartoony, nothing seems to make sense in cartoons, it's not really meant to be logical anyway. So for some reason I decided to make a pathway that led to someone's window. A bit random, but anyways. So here again, I, I try to stuff up the shape of those little that walkway stones and also I didn't want to make it a straight line leading up to the house I added a sort of a curvy curvy pathway
In the 3D world, it's very, very easy to make everything look really uniform. It's only when we go out and break it up and make it look uh, like horrible, disgusting in a way, that's when it looks really, really awesome in the 3D world. So here I'm going ahead and adding an antenna, a satellite dish, sort of an antenna dish, I don't know what it's called. The thing that receives TV signals. And again I'm stuffing up the shape of that, um, that dish thingy. I decided to point the satellite dish thingy downwards just because it's a cartoon. Nothing makes sense. Just being random. Of course I could have gone crazy with this. I could have added like five or six antennas, but I wanted to keep this house very simple, very clean. Don't want too much detail. So now I'm going ahead and adding the, the window panel inside the window frame and yet again um, stuffing up the shape of that one. And then pretty much just duplicating it everywhere. I know probably a smarter way of doing it was probably to add these window panels uh, before I duplicated the window itself, the window frame itself, uh, but I guess it's one of those things where I think I'm doing something efficiently, then I realized, darn it, I should have actually done that before I did anything else. That happens to me a lot. I find it easy just to duplicate things and then modify later. I hate having to go from scratch and then you know, like adding a cube uh, for every single frame one by one. That I don't know. I just wait, it feels like a waste of time. I just duplicate everything in one go and then just modify it later. So again, I'm duplicating this frame and then I'm just going in and modifying it. So at this stage the house is looking pretty good, it's looking quite cartoony. So I guess I, uh, at this point I wanted to add a little chimney. I guess Christmas time is coming up so maybe we can use this for a scene where Santa comes down a chimney or something. Finally I went ahead and added some cubes to the sides of the house, you know like those little um, decoration uh, stones that you see on the sides of those old houses. I sort of wanted to create that one as well. I mean, I, I googled uh, cartoony houses uh, and I found that a lot of these cartoony style houses have this sort of pebble, pebbly things, uh, these stony things uh, on the side of the, on the corners of the house. So I guess I wanted to copy that and do the same thing. I found this project to be a lot more fun than creating the uh, realistic houses project uh, because I guess I have a bit more freedom to make up whatever I want with this one whereas for the realistic house I have to sort of think about scale and and um, you know photorealism and all that kind of stuff so I don't know it just feels a bit restrictive whereas this one feels a bit more freeing I can do whatever I want and I can get away with it as well So here I'm, I'm adding in a little post box. It's not really the main central part of this uh, 
scene, but I'll just do it, uh, I'm just a little one anyway. And finally, I'm just adding the uh, front wooden uh, fences. Those tiny wooden pickets. I also played with the idea of putting the wooden fence right in the way of the pathway. Engineering fail. Remember, you can make your uh, cartoony house shape any kind of shape that you like. It doesn't even really need to look like it's like livable. If you watch a few cartoons, you'll know what I mean. Like some of those characters, you can't imagine living in, you know, in those those kinds of houses. You'll have to watch a few cartoons to know what I mean. So here I'm adding in the the water pipes, the pipe thingy that you see that's uh, on the edge of your roof. And then uh, another pipe that collects the rainwater and uh, distributes it uh, outside your house. Here I'm just making it random, just making it go, go back up again. Purely because cartoons don't make much sense. And that's it. This is the final house model, which looks pretty cartoony and looks pretty cool. Next video we will texture and render this. Thanks for watching.